Hi, I'm Scott Simmons. I'm an insurance consultant. I don't sell insurance and never accept fees or commissions from the insurance agents or insurance companies I work with for my clients. Let's talk about bank insurance. This video covers the standard lines of coverage, one of the four sections of bank insurance. The other sections are the financial institution fraud bond, management liability insurance, and lender asset protection insurance. See the separate videos on these areas of bank insurance. The standard lines are insurance policies almost every business in America buys. More than half of the mistakes I find in bank insurance are in this single coverage section, and this is supposed to be the easy stuff. Coverages are missing or they are improperly designed. This is the coverage on your buildings, contents, and computers. It's also coverage for extra expense. The expenses you incur keeping your bank location open after a fire, windstorm, or other catastrophe. $250,000 of coverage is my minimum extra expense coverage for any bank location. Your main location should have $500,000 of protection. Write this down. You should not have coinsurance any place in your property insurance program. Ask your agent if you have a coinsurance penalty. If he says yes, ask why. There's almost never a good reason to have coinsurance in a bank property insurance policy. In my world, coinsurance is a sign of poorly designed insurance. Few bankers consider the hazards that are included in the auto insurance policy. A loan officer driving his personal vehicle to a Chamber of Commerce meeting can result in a catastrophic loss. Do not skimp on your bank's auto insurance. The GL policy provides coverage for bodily injury and property damage. The most common claim is a trip and fall. Your foreclosed properties should be included here too, so you get the extra protection of your umbrella policy. Workers' Comp is the place for employee coverage for injuries. Every state is a bit different. Umbrella or excess liability insurance gives extra coverage over the bank's auto liability, general liability, and employer's liability coverages. A $5 million umbrella means $6 million of coverage, $5 million on the umbrella, and $1 million on the underlying policy. Every bank should have $5 million in umbrella liability limits. If you're over $300 million in assets, I think you should have $10 million in umbrella coverage. The bigger the bank, the more coverage you should have. Most banks start their work with me in an unbiased review of their insurance. Simple and straightforward. You send me your policies and I report the issues of concerns. We then work through the mitigation of the issues. Unbiased insurance help and advice for your banks. I'm glad to talk about your bank and your insurance. Call or email me.